Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am obviously here for another diamond painting video and this is going to be kind of a mini series that I've been wanting to do for a while. As a lot of you guys know, I am, I guess I would consider myself fairly new still to the diamond painting world, but I've been doing it for about a year now and I feel like I have acquired enough stuff to be able to give recommendations to you guys because one, I feel partially guilty that I introduced so many of you guys to this hobby uh, but like not really. I'm not really feeling guilty about it because it's so great to have so many of you guys doing it with me. Um, but two, I just feel like I have a good grasp of knowledge at this point. So this is going to basically be like kind of a mini series of me talking about all of the accessories that I have come across, that I have tried, that I've liked, that I haven't liked. And as to be expected, this is obviously going to be opinion based, but these are just going to be recommendations for you guys to try if you're new to the craft or if you're not new to the craft, maybe it'll be new companies or new things that you might want to give a go. That being said, going into this little series, um, I do want to make it a point to say that you do not need any of these things. All of these are considered like luxury extra items. But as many of you know, if you're crafters, this also kind of applies to readers as well. The act of shopping for accessories and for your craft is an entirely separate hobby from the craft itself. Am I right? Like it is just as much fun finding organizers or pens or new diamond painting companies as it is to actually diamond paint. Like they are two separate hobbies at this point in my mind and I love both of them equally. So I do want to say none of these things are going to be necessary for you. Almost every single diamond painting kit you're going to get is going to come with the tools that you need to complete that kit. That being said, I wanted to start the series with the only accessory that you kind of might need. Um, depending on what company you're ordering from, and that is going to be organizers for your drills. Um, there are a ton of different ways to organize your drills, like all of your loose diamonds, in case you're new to the diamond painting world, all of the little diamonds, the little rhinestones are called drills. Um, most kits are not going to come with a way to keep those organized while you're working on it. Some do, some don't. Some kits come with them already kitted up in um, little baggies for you. And the first few uh, diamond paintings I did had that. And I worked strictly out of little bags. I laid them all out on my desk while I was working on them. And I stuffed them all into a bigger bag when I wasn't working on them. And if you were going to be diamond painting, unless you were some sort of superhero, you're likely not going to complete a diamond painting in one sitting. If you are, uh, tell me of your ways because how are you possibly doing that? But most diamond paintings are pretty long and they take a lot of sessions to complete. So that being said, a lot of us have pets or kids or families or you just don't like to leave your craft out, like sitting out uh, when you're not working on it. Um, so organizers are what are going to come in handy for that. So this is not only going to allow you to keep all of your drills organized in a nice contained fashion, but it's also going to let you stop working on your kit, put it away, and then bring it all back out very easily at another point in time. So everybody has their own preference of how they do this. Let me roll in my accessory cart real quick. I, I have an entire cart. Uh, where I keep all of my diamond painting supplies. But most diamond paintings are gonna come with your drills like this. They are not resealable containers. They are long strips of individual plastic pouches that you have to cut open and put somewhere. Allow me to introduce you to uh, my chosen forms of organization. This is the very first organizer that I ever purchased and it's still my favorite one. And I have bought multiples at this point because I like to work on multiple kits at once because I'm that type of person. So this is just a kit. Before I get too far, I'm going to link everything that I can in the description. Some of these are just kind of like random miscellaneous companies that you can order different versions of, but most are going to be Amazon links. But this is my chosen form of organization. So these specifically, I really like because they are the longer tubes. They fit a bunch of drills in them and they are all uniform and organized and really nice. And they are like a screw top. This is key because I have cats. I really like to confirm that all of my drills are very securely enclosed in something because catastrophe could strike at any time and it, all it takes is one tip of the table for everything to come crashing down. So I like this just because it is super organized. Everything is uniform. I go through and I label the tops of the containers with the individual like Diamond Art Club um, 
labels with the symbol and the DMC number in it. And I also like these kits because it has a pocket up here. So this is where I keep like my tray, my pen, my washi tape. This is where I keep the extra drills that didn't fit in containers and I just refill them as I use them. And the biggest appeal of these kits is that it zips shut got a handle and it's completely contained. This right here contains everything that I need for the kit that I'm working on. Um, if you want to get super fancy, the stickers that come with your kits, you can slap it on the front of this so that you know these drills are for that uh, kit that you're working on. I keep this just in the pocket so that I know like this organizer is for that kit specifically. So these are my favorite ones. They come in a couple different like variations. There are a bunch of companies that sell these types. Um, the only thing I'm going to recommend is when you're ordering them to make sure to look at the little jar size. These are the two inch jars because I have made the mistake of ordering ones. Look, this one looks identical. I thought I was ordering the same one, but this one, so looks exactly the same, right? No, they are super tiny. These are like the one inch containers and these work. These work really well for little kits where you don't have a ton of one color, um, but you will be refilling these jars really quickly. And it does have like a foam insert in here for all of your jars to be organized. These come in a variety of different sizes. They come in like 30s and 45s and 60s and like 120s and stuff. So you can order depending on however many jars you really want in here. 60 tends to work though because 60 um, allows me to have extra room in case I want to just put all of my extra drills in extra containers. Um, but most kits that I found are anywhere between like 40 and 60 colors. So it's a fairly good size and amount. So that's my only tip when ordering these, make sure you're getting the taller jars. Not that the small jars are bad, but I just prefer the taller ones. So those are first and foremost, my favorite organizers. I basically use those exclusively at this point. Um, that being said, the most beloved organizer that everybody gets are these. These are the Elizabeth Ward bead containers. Um, this is kind of a combination. I have two of these. I pick them up when they're on sale on Amazon because they do go on sale pretty frequently. I have, one kit in here that um, needed a bizarre amount of different containers. Um, so I kind of combined two containers to make this one work for me. But this one has a lid, so you can take this off. All of these containers you can take out. They're all individual. They are a whole bunch of different sizes. So you have little teeny tiny ones, you have like medium ones, you have slightly larger ones. And then there are really tall ones for when you have kits that have like a ton of 310 in them or something. Um, these work really well for kits that you have obviously a lot of colors in um, but you might have a lot of like not that many of one color so you have a lot of really small containers to bigger containers this is a lot of people's chosen form of organization for that specific reason you can see everything you have varying sizes of containers you can reorganize this however you want all of these are individually placed in here i do like working out of these this one makes me nervous though just because yes there is a lid that like clips on but again it just stresses me out i know all of these containers are securely shut tight like there's a click latch when you shut them but i just i just picture this going flying and it's going terribly wrong in my life. Um, my only downside to these containers is that opening them hurts my fingers. I know that is a very trivial thing, but doing this hurts my little fingernail. So I actually open these using my tweezers. Um, and to me, that is one unnecessary step that I don't really like. So that is why these are my like second chosen form of organizers. That is a lot of people's preferred and those also come in varying different sizes and you can order replacement um, containers. In case you guys are curious, these are like the full size big ones. Um, you can order individual containers and kind of make your own custom kits. They all have the same width so they all fit in the same like columns in here um, and you can buy literally kits of just tons of these little teeny tiny ones that are like 120. Um, so you can kind of mix and match what you want with them. They are a little pricey for what they are, I think, but it's kind of the only system that really works like this, where it's like a universal thing where you can switch out sizes, you can reorganize like I clearly did. Um, so people love those. And speaking of well-loved organizers, the next one that I'm going to recommend are these. You'll probably recognize these. These are the Harbor Freight containers. If you have a Harbor Freight near you, I think that might be a US only company. I'm not sure on that. These are sold in Harbor Freight Tools. It's a hardware store that is basically just really cheap hardware. Tools, 
etc. Um, and these are $3.99, I want to say. They are very, very cheap. Oh, by the way, these are normally between $20 and $30. These are regularly $45, but they do go on sale. And those prices vary depending on where you're buying them from. These are like four bucks. So a lot of people work out of these because they are super cheap and they, they work really well. Um, so this is just a clear container that has 25 of these little individual containers that just have like a little flip lock here and that open like that. Um, and people love these containers just because they're cheap, they work really well. My only downfall is that I don't work on many kits that have this few colors. Um, like I said, these come in 25s, so you can just buy a whole bunch of them. Like a lot of people just work out of two of these per kit because that would give you just 50 uh, little containers in there and they work really well. They're pretty secure for how cheap it is. It's pretty secure. I've done a couple kits out of this and I still think that the clasps are just as strong as they were when I bought them. And again, you can't go wrong with that price. So a lot of people will just go to Harbor Freight and buy like 10 of these and be set for life with diamond painting. So those are the three systems that I have used the most. Um, I also have worked out of little baggies. A lot of Star Aura kits will come um, not kitted up. They'll still come with like a strip of drills like this, but they do come with these little baggies. Um, they're not used for nefarious purposes. Get your mind out of the gutter, people. Um, but they'll come with a whole pack of these, which I just organize. And this is actually what I keep all of my leftover drills in, in case I want to use any different colors in future kits. Um, so that works really, really well, especially if you don't have like pets or kids and you have like a station you can leave things sitting out on. Just leave your drills sitting out in all of the baggies or they're very easy to just pick up and put in a little container. That works really well. A lot of people use a binder system. There are kind of like craft binders that you can put all of your drills into little containers that are like strapped into a binder situation. There's a lot of different options that people prefer. The only other thing I'm going to recommend is picking up some extra containers. Um, I found these at like Ross for $2.99. Um, having storage jars like this really come in handy when you're working on a really, really big kit and you know you're going to have a ton of one color because obviously no matter what size organizer you're going to get, there are occasionally going to be kits that will come with like 10 bags of black or white as a background color and they are in no way going to fit in multiple containers. So I recommend just, I mean, you don't have to go buy organizers. You can literally just use like an old jelly jar or like a Tupperware container. I worked out Tupperware containers for a very long time. I will actually recommend that. The little individual ones, totally recommend. But whenever I find little containers like this on like a clearance rack in a craft store or something, I pick them up because they do come in handy. And I do work out of these when I just have an obscene amount of one color that I need to occasionally refill these come in handy. So that being said, those are my chosen forms of organization. Um, these are the only accessories that I don't have specific shops for. These are kind of the only things when it comes to diamond painting that there aren't like small creators really making things like this. Um, for the rest of the videos, I'm going to have a ton of small like artists and Etsy shops to recommend to you guys. Most of these you can just find in store or on Amazon and that's where I'm going to recommend you get them. But if any of you guys have good recommendations of systems that you really like, let me know down in the comments because I'm still fairly new to this. I've been doing this for less than a year and I'm still always on the lookout for like new fun things to try with the craft. So that's going to be it. I hope this was somewhat educational for you guys. Like I said, this is going to be a multi-part series. Next is probably going to be pens because diamond painting pens are the most fun accessory and I cannot wait to talk about the ones that I really prefer. So that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video.